later. Ooh, my phone is a cleaning. What's going on, Stacks Nation? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. And also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future videos just like this one. I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday, so you guys will be getting consistent videos on those days. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a day in the life of a college student entrepreneur. Anyways, right now I'm on my way to park my car in this location that's really close to campus so I can walk there because if you guys go to college, you guys know how difficult it is to park in the actual parking garages or in the parking lots. And I'm really not trying to deal with that because it literally takes about an hour. So if you guys are in college and you guys are watching this video, just be prepared for that or find a spot near campus and you can walk from there and also make sure you can park there because I don't want you guys getting towed that's a big problem here in Tallahassee I've been towed three times already so that's over $300 in just paying for towing as you guys saw by the earlier clips where I showed the clock was around 7 a.m. is because I'm really up at 7 a.m. which is surprising to me because I really don't ever wake up at this time ever on a regular weekday I'm only doing this for school because I'm 8 a.m. which sucks so bad but I'm about to grind so I really don't mind I actually wake up happy knowing that I'm going to class and learning what I actually want to learn now because because before I was studying mechanical engineering and that was nowhere near what I wanted to do I thought it was but in the end I realized it wasn't so it's okay not to know what you guys are gonna do when you guys first go into college even though it's expected like once you get out of high school you should know what you want to study because then you got to do all these prereqs which I believe is BS because I feel like you find a passion as you live life I know it sounds like so freaking philosophical but it is true it's not like you wake up one day and you say I like playing the guitar it doesn't work like that you kind of just find your passion through experiences and I figured that mine wasn't working for somebody nine to five the rest of my life like I couldn't picture myself going to work for another 50 60 years for somebody else when I literally can just work a fraction of that time and build incomes that I don't want to say I don't have to work for them but incomes that will work for me and I will be financially free and I will be enjoying my life more than dreading it every morning waking up that I have to go to my job every single day from nine to five like I just couldn't picture that so close i literally almost crashed my car into this wall i'm actually gonna put these shades on because i look way too tired to be walking around campus like this anyways right now i'm walking to class the idea was actually to have a boosted board so i don't have to walk all this every day it would just be faster more convenient but my problem with this school is that the school is in tallahassee there's a lot of hills and the skateboard that i want to buy is cheap and i don't think it's going to go up the hills and i'm not really trying to spend a band on a freaking boosted board wait and guys i literally have 10 minutes to make it to class well 11 to be exact. And I like to be punctual because I'm really not trying to have a bad look in the program. So my 8 a.m. is done. Terrible. Well, I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just, I'm just dead tired. I gotta get more used to waking up at 7 a.m. because this is killing me. But anyways, right now, I gotta go pick up the monkey from my girlfriend and then I gotta go back to class. Well, not to class. I gotta go to the building, do some homework that's due at 12. And then... I have to edit this video to get started on it and then I'm gonna pretty much finish it later on. I got the baby, now back to my car. So the only reason I'm in my car is to get the laptop out of my backpack and take that with me and then carry you me because carrying my backpack and him, it's two backpacks, that's not happening. I'm so tired guys, I didn't realize that how tired I was until I just started walking down those stairs or well, down the garage. But anyways, your boy gotta grind. That's the life of an entrepreneur. You gotta grind. You gotta grind it out, sacrifice early, and then have the fun later while still having some fun in the meantime. It's not all boring. You ready, Yumi? Let's get this bread. Yo, so a cop over there is actually pulling over another car. And funny story is that the other day, I was walking by and that same exact cop pulled somebody over for running this stop sign right here. Incredible. Anyways guys, I'm back home now, I'm done with school. I apologize for you over here being really loud and I apologize for not filming anything in between when I got home and here because I was walking with a friend and we were talking and I completely forgot to vlog. But now I'm here, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I do when I'm not at school. I actually gotta run some Facebook ads for my dropshipping company, which I do it with my father, so you guys are gonna hear him talking as well. Do a little quick time lapse if I even play the audio. What is your problem? Why are you crying? I gave you food, I gave you love, what more do you want from me?
All right, so I'm finally done with the call with my dad. Facebook ads are done. They're up, live and running, and now we wait. But anyways, aside from that, I have to do a little bit of homework, finish up what I was doing earlier because class started before I was able to finish. And after that, I'm all set. I think I'm good. I gotta just edit this video, upload it. It's gonna be up the same day that I recorded it. I'm just trying to be in the grind, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I already thought of an idea for Thursday's video, which is gonna be a little difficult because I need somebody else to help me record, but I'm pretty sure I can find somebody. All right, guys, so I'm editing the video right now, and I realized I really do need a boosted board, but like I said, I'm not gonna be spending $1,000, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a cheaper version that I told you guys about. If it doesn't work then i guess i just gotta return it because that's the benefit of amazon i feel bad doing that but at the same time like i'm not gonna say with something that doesn't give me no use anyways actually oh shoot i think this is it right here i think it's called the urban e let me see if i can show you guys urban so urban e skateboard i think it's called oh look there we go v2 because that's a better version apparently but for some reason i've heard that these go for like less than 200 dollars and now they're 250 whatever i'm gonna go ahead and buy it check it out it's not even prime anymore oh come on Oh yeah, Prime free delivery. Where can I get it by? Free delivery by Monday. How's that even Prime? Isn't Prime like two days, babe? Mm -hmm. Come on, Amazon, what you guys doing? We're gonna go ahead, and they don't have any other colors. Like, that green look a little fruity. Mm -hmm. uh, what? 200, yeah, but look at the reviews, two and a half stars. Ooh, this one has three and a half stars. And it's 189. <laughs> this razor is probably gonna go two miles. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I don't know, guys, which is gonna get? I don't know so many options. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one, screw it. It's cheaper, it doesn't work. We'll return it then, go ahead and get the next one. Some reviews, very good, good, reliably fast, good beginner. And look, these look like the most recent reviews, so I'm assuming they, um, ooh, that's a recent review, that's bad. Can I help you? Excuse you, excuse you. Give me that back. Give me that. Go. No. 